Hey everybody, this is Noah. Um, I'm here with uh, Purple Roger today. We're doing a co-commentary on the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess walkthrough. This amazing walkthrough teach you guys how to get into the next dungeon, the Snow Peak Ruins. Um, I'm going to let Purple Rodri here introduce himself now. Hello there everybody, I'm Purple Rodri. I was about to say welcome back to some more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, but I don't think that's <laughs> correct. I don't think that's the game we're doing today. Unfortunately, no. I'm still stuck on this game. I might beat it one of these days. You Have you ever beaten it before? Yeah. Alright, well that's good. Years ago, I beat it once. Yeah, same, same. And then I vaguely remember like little things. Now I gotta deal with this uh, homo mailman once again. Completely <laughs> incorrect. I'm not trying to insult anybody. I just think this guy's a homo. <laughs> Dude, I, I just ran him off the cliff early. I was like, okay. <laughs> you, wait, do you know how to do that trick? I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, I, I did that and it's actually real. I didn't think it was gonna work, but then he just runs right off the edge. I was uh, thinking about doing the one in the Arbiter's Grounds when you roll into the quicksand and you can control yourself on the uh, title screen. Really? I, I decided not to tr risk screwing up my game and doing that. Oh, but wow, I didn't know that was one. That's look sick. it up. It's pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I didn't know any about You should do some glitches. <laughs> see if people would like to watch that. I used to do a uh, glitch of the week or like a cheat of the week video. Yeah. For my site. I used like the Link's Awakening screen warping, stuff like that. Are you serious? I didn't know any of this. Really? I'm going to have to go look these up. Link's Awakening, if you press the select button as you are entering a new um, like segment, how it's split into like coordinates, if you press the select button at the right time, you will warp across the entire screen and you're able to get, that's how you can do speed rounds, you're able to get like the power bracelet um, level 2 like really really quick into the game and all this kinds of stuff. Oh man, that's yeah. awesome. I also, think I heard uh, something about that. Yeah, I, also, I like to do it so I can keep Marin. Um, so the walrus, yeah, when you take her to the walrus, she goes away, you're able to screen warp right past the walrus and keep her. That's sweet, dude. I think I actually had like the DX version, which didn't let you do that anymore. Oh, no, you can't do that in that. That's why I never got to do it. Um, yeah. Yeah, walk through. I just left the, uh, Mirror of Twilight. I'm just checking out the bar, see where I'm supposed to go, and it's Snow Peak Mountain. I'm pretty much the basis of this walkthrough segment. I'm gonna go there, talk to somebody, some Asian looking chick. <laughs> She's gonna tell me some giant monster is going around, give me a picture. I'll show that monster to Azora, tell me I need to catch a reek fish. I'll do some stuff, catch that, follow the scent, get to the dungeon. Did you already do the surfing or the, the snowboarding part? Uh, that's in this part. Oh, really? You're going to be doing it yeah. here? No, you... I seem to recall that it was fun, but when I went back and redid it here, it wasn't fun at all. I know, it's like, ah, oh, this is hard. <laughs> I don't know if it's hard. I crashed once. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't remember doing it. I vaguely remember this game. Like, I remember... I don't even remember some of the dungeons, honestly. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about this one. I was thinking I only had, uh, like, two more dungeons left. Yeah. Uh, no. And I actually did like a hundred percent run, like all heart pieces and golden bugs, and I just don't remember. But it, it, it's such a huge game that you know it's hard to remember sometimes. Um, I've, I've actually had it in consideration for like a you know an LP, but I, I don't know. It, it's a lot of work. It is. I'm not even doing a full hundred percent. I just like to show people how to beat it, and then I go back and I make separate guides for yeah. all of that stuff. I like how he tries to dive into a... <laughs> that was a fail. <laughs> ...lower level. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. He does it all the time. Um, so, I'm just going to go to this side, because that's where the red marker dot is. Just dive right off. Try not to kill yourself. I think he's going to hit ground before he makes the water. Oh, what a fail. <laughs> what a fail. <laughs> I like how they dive in games, especially like Ocarina of Time dives. Yeah. I need to go back and play that game. I'm waiting for a 3DS before I do, though. Yeah, I agree. I, I would buy a 3DS, but I can't afford it right now, so. I got... I'm waiting until Ocarina of Time 3DS comes out. I'm hoping that they have a special collection pack or something. Yeah. And I'm going to buy it then. I have the money all set aside. That's why I have gift cards for Target all set aside. I'm going to buy it there. That's sweet. 
Sorry, they might give you like a special like golden 3ds with like a triforce on it or something yeah i'm hoping they might package the game in with it but i kind of doubt it yeah true that it's a really expensive game. i mean for like 25 more bucks or something it's not too bad now um here's the asian chick oh this she chick's kinda, creepy she doesn't really look asian i don't remember who she is um they told us her name earlier but i'm not too sure yeah, there's a bunch of random characters, and I don't even remember if there are sages in this. I don't know. I'm going to whip out my little manual. You got to watch my last video. It showed the sages. There are sages? I don't even remember. Dude, it's been so Just long. Hot scenes, mostly. Yeah. It's been so long since I played this game. I uh, really want to play it now, like replay it through, because it's amazing. I'm going back. I'm doing Majora's Mask uh, after this one. I haven't played Majora's Mask since I was maybe 13. I really? only played once I never did any of the side quests. Oh my gosh, dude! That's my favorite game of all time. I've probably beat that all masks like seven or eight times. It's ridiculous. For some reason I'm standing there, <laughs> just chilling. I don't know. <laughs> I was giving He's, her to stare Link's, now. Link's just letting us talk. Yeah. No, I, I can never catch a break. I always like end up having to take a phone call or something when recording, and then I forget to edit out where I'm just standing there. <laughs> So you're yeah. sitting there, you're like, all right, and I'm I'm standing here right now. So <laughs> I was probably on the phone, dude. Yeah, so are, what is this? Azora? What the hell is this? Yeah, it's Azora. Why do they look so weird? They look like the ones from uh, Majora's Mask that are like okay. in the band playing. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know. That's weird. I, oh, I'm used I to like that. Rudo Zoras, not like those. You're gonna make me not want to play this game if you keep talking about it. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna, dude. You, if you get, have you ever hundred percent Majora's Mask, like all masks? No, no, no. I beat it and quit it. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> that's how you gotta do it. Hit it and quit it. Yep. <laughs> My brother got. I don't know if he got everything, but he was really close to getting everything if he didn't. But yeah. I just remember it was a pain. Yeah, dude, it really is. It's so many things you have to remember. Yeah, I was standing there not as long. Yeah, I think you were um, just teleporting or something. Yeah. Um, need to go to Kakariko Village again, because we need to go talk to the Prince Zora. Ra ra ra, or whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, Lady Gaga. <laughs> that was a nice Lady Gaga moment. Put on my poker face. <laughs> well, uh, this prince is going to be found in the graveyard uh, mourning his mother. Oh, yeah, so, I remember that part. He will give you his earring, which will be the bait on your uh, fishing rod, which will allow you to uh, catch a reek fish. I'm just going here to heal up real quick. Yeah, true that. And are, off we go. Are there great yep. fairies in this? I don't remember those. I don't think so. Why am I standing there? You probably, <laughs> you probably took a phone call, would be my guess. Random intermission. Oh, there you go. Ah... Uh, I don't remember what I'm ever doing when I'm looking this stuff up. Yeah, I love the music in this place. It's probably like my favorite music in the game. That little town. I didn't really like the music in this game. Really? I mean, I it was like reorchestrated from like older games, but I don't know. I thought some of it was good. Like, I liked. Uh, yeah. Wind Waker and Majora's Mask, I think, had the best music. Yeah, Wind Waker did have pretty good music. It was upbeat. This one was more depressing. It was like. Emo. Yeah. Because this was such a dark game. Like, it was like, okay. the world is ending. Let's save it. But so was Majora's Mask. Yeah, Majora's Mask is really emo. Yeah. I mean, but those are the best, you know? Ocarina of Time was apocalyptic, too. Ah, uh, the thumb. This looks like a little girl, almost. Doesn't even look like a prince. Yeah. This transgender prince thing. Ugh. That's <laughs> up with you. Tries to get your digits. And he does. Show him the note. Have you ever thought maybe Link is like gay, dude? You never know. Because <laughs> he never, it, he never, you know, really shows any like emotions towards girls. Uh, he does with that uh, fat girl from the bar. Oh yeah, but that dude, <laughs> that's just. Uh, I did that. He's probably just <laughs> feeling like ashamed and like awkward, so he's like blushing. He's like, man, this is embarrassing even for me. <laughs> Alright, so where are we headed to after we talk to this kid? 
I'm going to leave his sight so I can warp away and then go back to Zora's domain. Okay, sweet. I'm excited to see the snowboarding. I haven't done that mini game in like years. I seen. I thought it was like fast paced and fun, and and then when I was doing it this time, it was really slow. Really. Uh, I seem to recall that there was like a bunch of stuff you were dodge. I mean, I guess maybe when I was a kid or younger, I wasn't a kid. I was maybe 16. I just thought that it was a lot more intense than it really was. Hmm. Might have right. been from like the hype of the Wii. Yeah. It made everything fun. Like you're sitting there bowling, just moving your arm up, and you're just like, oh man. This is intense. I played the GameCube version both times. Oh, really? I started the Wii version. I got onto the Arbiter's Grounds, and then the uh, Wii broke. So. <laughs> that sucks, dude. So my brother sold it on eBay. <laughs> Damn. Now, yeah, I originally played the Wii version. I mean, it was like the first game I bought when I got my Wii. What did I get? I waited uh, in line like outside Walmart at 4 a.m. to okay. get my Wii. It's, dude, I was like... 13 or something too. We was huge back then. I yeah. just slapped the price to 150. That's good, but in the 3DS is gonna be like 250. Like, yeah. Uh, that's why I don't know if I want to pay that much for a handheld. It's a lot of money. It is, and I don't really like handhelds, but I'm hoping that they get their act together with this one. Yeah. The thing is though, I don't know if it'll be worth it to just buy it for one game, because the only one I would really want is Ocarina of Time. I wanted uh, Resident Evil Mercenaries because that I always enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. um, Star Fox 64 remake would be cool, and I want the uh, virtual console stuff like Link's Awakening. Yeah, true that. Um, like, yeah. Wait, I normally have one or two handheld Zeldas per per handheld as well. If you notice, it kind of got dark there. I had to go away <laughs> for a while. When I came back, it was nighttime. <laughs> cool transition. <laughs> like Ray like William Johnson. Yeah. So yeah, fishing's pretty easy on a GameCube. Just reel it up. Reel it. I I, I don't know. The fishing was a lot harder on the freaking Wii because you have to like throw it, it nunchuck it. It was tough. Um, once you had the fish caught, you had to turn into a uh, wolfling so you can learn its scent and follow it throughout the snowy nether regions. I don't yeah. know what it's called. <laughs> well, let's, let's teleport to the snow. Just right over here, I'll swim over. So where does Minna go when you turn into a human? Shadow. You just go oh into the yeah, top. I forgot. Dang, I haven't played this in years. Man, why doesn't she stay a shadow at all time? Why does she have to ride on top of the wolf? I don't know, it's more fun that way. So she can help you fight. Um, oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Um, this part, I sat there for a while too and I cut that out. <laughs> good stuff. You just have to follow the scent um, trail. It's, it's that orangish pink, maybe. Well, it depends on what your color settings are. Just follow it, jump across the little glaciers. I forgot how awesome this game was, man. Like, Dude, it's bringing back memories. Well, memories I don't remember, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, that works. <laughs> it's pretty, it's. I'm wishing it would be bringing back memories because it looks so cool. All right, go back and play it. Just quit Mario Galaxy and play this. I can't quit Sunshine. I I've considered <laughs> Twilight yeah. Princess as a next LP, but I don't know if I want to go through all the trouble and you hit a dead end. All right, when you get here, is a dead end. So. You wait. <laughs> and then you just go around the side. Oh, that's what it is. Um, turn the scent back on, and you'll just go back up this mountain. But you get to climb. Wolf Link's a retard. He can't jump up that petty little um, step. So you gotta turn into Link. Unless my Wolf Link's just retarded, and you don't actually have to. So just climb up if he wants to grab on. Yep, fail. <laughs> There's probably some way to get up there, like Midna helping you up or something. Perhaps, I didn't see the option. Um, Link can't really go through the snow. It sinks, so you gotta go back into Wolf Link. Check it out. That's, I'm going the Wii direction. Yeah. Forgot that I'm supposed to go this way. <laughs> That's so go weird how everything's flipped in the Wii and GameCube version. So stupid. It's like a mirror version. Mirror cup. 
I don't understand why they flipped every single thing. It's just like, I don't know why. Um, just keep going that way. Just keep getting this confused with the Wii version. I keep going the wrong way. Yeah, I. It makes it really tough when it's like mirrored like that. I don't know what yeah. the dungeons would be like. Do they get flipped too? Yeah, they do. Wow, screw that. So, um, just keep following this path. And you'll get to another dead end up here. And take out these bats real quick. He's gonna freeze me like a mother. <laughs> I hate bats so much. Keysies. Um, here's another dead end. So you just have to simply um, jump into the wall. Oh, wow. That's smart. Forms a little slow for you to climb up. And you're almost done. Just keep following it. Keep following it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm not gonna do this because I'm gonna do that for another guy. So oh, so the howling stone. Of the howl stone. Yeah. Can go with these wolves as always. Oh well, you're almost there to the snowboarding and part. We'll you see your face. You get to um, dig under if it ever lets me. Third time the charm. Where does it drop you off? This takes you into a cave. Oh wow, this is nice. Look at these graphics. Pretty nice for the time. Yeah, for real. Well, we could also say the same about like all the N64 games. <laughs> Those are awesome. I love the N64. Yeah, me too. I think it, it was probably like the best console like that Nintendo has released. That and the Super Nintendo, I think. Super Nintendo had great games too, I agree. Back when uh, kids' games were fun, like yeah. the Mickey Mouse and all that stuff. Yeah, they dude. Fun. Now they're crap. I remember playing like Looney Tunes and stuff like that, and those were fun games. They weren't like trashy, you know, pieces of crap that they just throw together. It was actually nice. Yeah, now they're pieces of crap. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on with video games. I think they're just turning f to a more adult base rather than like, you know, younger kids these days. Because like all the young kids games like for TV shows and stuff are just like, you know, like just whatever. This bat does not want to die, so I'm going to leave him. <laughs> yeah, screw the bat. He's only going to give you, like, nothing you needed. Well, he was hunting me down, stalking me. So, yeah, get him before he got me. Then he flew away. Yeah, true that. I think you've made it. Yep, um, here will be another one of those, uh, segments where you can take out the, uh, shadow beasts, whatever they're called. These are, form, these are form. easy as human form, though. You don't have to, like, worry about it as much. Yeah, I did the last one in human form. Yeah. Um, I think we'll do this one in wolf. Yeah. Yeah, the wolf is. The, I don't know. I like switching between them. I. The wolf is probably faster though. These bats are a pain. They're gonna freeze me a couple of times. Damn, that's they don't tough. really like to get damaged very well. They freeze you instead. Yeah. The maul him. He's fun. Instead of just like clawing them, you have to put them in your mouth and then like chew on them a bit and spit them out. <laughs> At least you get Midna to help you. Imagine how screwed you would be if you didn't have her arm trick. <laughs> you would be screwed without Midna. I remember when I first played this, I had no idea how to kill these guys. And you were like stuck in wolf form. So I sat there for like an hour just trying to figure out how to kill them and then I eventually got it. I like, did you see how retarded that was? Like, I had him targeted, and Wolf Link just, like, failed. Yeah. Myth. Yeah. And he had it targeted. He jumps at it, and then he just comes up an inch short. Like, <laughs> just I know. So I have to redo it. Damn. And you have a teleportation spot. All right, by beating them, kind of clear up the myth. I mean, go up here, teabag him. Oh, my so God. What is that? <laughs> And we turn into a uh, human form. Cutscene will be triggered. I'll walk up to him even though I was just next to him. Blah, blah, blah. It's a weird looking guy. He's like a Yeti. Yeah, I think he is a Yeti. Mm -hmm. Oh, his poor lady. Spoiler! <laughs> Why is he just holding a fish? He's just... Happened to hungry. be messing with it, I guess. Just caught it. Wait, but there's no fishing around here. There's no, like, water spot. Uh, if you... If both of us actually, like, read through the stuff earlier. It was talking about how he was 
um, keeps being seen at the Zoras oh. fishing spots, catching the fish. Oh, that's what. But here's like. the snowboarding part. He will just kind of go off. Just repeat after him, slam into the tree by rolling. That will cause a um, kind of like an ice shelf or ice. That's freaking right awesome, dude. Snowboard. I wonder if there's some glitch where you just you can like keep it and you can just snowboard everywhere. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to press A to jump over ledges. Um, the rest of it's pretty simple. You just kind of go down the hill. Not a whole lot of obstacles, a couple of trees, a couple of cliffs. They should have made a mini game out of this, like collect the rupees or something, you know? They should have. For like a heart piece? That would have been awesome. Whenever I do this part, I always think of uh, Sonny from Sonny and Cher. <laughs> I always <laughs> think, whoops, I hope I don't end up like him. If you don't know, he uh, died while skiing. He, really? He hit his head. <laughs> oh, man, that's <laughs> tough, <laughs> dude. I always think about him. Damn. When is it that you crash into the tree? I don't I don't crash into a tree myself. I always say, Oh, sunny time. <laughs> <laughs> this so is a, I, this is actually a lot easier than I, I remembered. I remember failing a lot. Yeah. I hit something up here I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I mean you seem to do, be doing fine right now, right here. Oh wow, you missed. Right here I hit hit. I just kind of like wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, right start just... out? oh wow, you just get to keep going? Yeah, so it's not really a challenge at all. Oh wow, I, I thought you had to start from the beginning or something. I was thinking that too. I don't know why. I just seem to recall this was hard. Oh, that's easy then. That's not too bad at all. I keep trying to go off the cliff for some reason. I'm sure there's some glitch or like where you run off of it and you can land there faster. Like on yeah. a road in Mario Kart. <laughs> well, you're almost there. The house was like coming up. Hey, do you have Mario Kart, by the way? Uh, I have Mario Kart Wii. Yeah. You need to play. Dude, but Mario Kart Wii's awesome. This is ending here shortly. Someone's gonna kind of do the conclusion since the last time with Luke. I forgot to until it was over, and I'm just like, quickly, bye everybody. Yeah. So, um, thanks everybody for watching. Up here is the next dungeon. I'll show that in my next segment. And uh, don't forget to check out Purple Rodri's channel. He's one of our uh, box affiliates, so click through and follow his link in the in the description. I'll be posting that. Um, you can finish it up, dude. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, Noah will catch you in the next episode. Okay. Right, bye.